This is how you fail the USMLE Step 1 exam. Step 1. Don't wake up early. Make sure you wake up late. You really want to make sure that your day is screwed up and you missed any chance that you can arrange your day to succeed. Waking up late can also affect your mood and make you depressed, which is what we want here. Step 2. Before getting up from bed, pick up your phone and check Facebook and Instagram. There might be some important posts that your friends posted while you're sleeping. You don't want to miss that. Keep refreshing the feed so that you make sure you don't miss anything. After closing Facebook, open Instagram. There might be some important messages there. Make sure you got them all. Step 3. When you get out of bed, leave your bed as it is. You don't want to give yourself that sense of accomplishment when you wake up. Feeling disorganized is what we want here. If you make your bed every morning, you will have accomplished the first task of the day. It will give you a small sense of pride, and it will encourage you to do another task, and another, and another. And by the end of the day, that one task completed will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce the fact that the little things in life matter. If you can't do the little things right, you'll, you'll never, never be able, be able to do able the, to big do the big things, things right. right. Step four, make sure your desk is a complete mess. Your desk is the place where your brain is conditioned to focus. So make sure you destroy any chance of you focusing by putting everything, whether necessary or not, on it when you're studying. This will also reinforce the idea that the assembly is too much hard work for you. Step five, try to delay studying as much as you can, because I mean, you have a lot of time later in the day and you shouldn't start and finish your studying early. In other words, procrastinate. Step 6. Worship the first aid. It is the Bible of the USM. You have to memorize the first aid. Don't miss a word, because every single word can come on the exam, you know. Keep taking notes until you fill the room with notes that you will never visit again. Step 7. Don't do questions until you are prepared. Doing questions early can get you comfortable to the type of questions in the USMLE and can help you boost your score. Take your time to memorize the first aid mindlessly first, then after reading the first aid about, you know, 100 times, then you can start doing questions. Step 8. Try to memorize every single word in New World. Now you are finally done with the 100th repeat of the first aid. It's finally the time to start your world. Sit down and start solving a question. While you're doing the question, please don't use any question-taking strategies like, for example, reading the question first, eliminating answer choices, or any other speeding up the process kind of strategy. Take your time to read the whole questions, and then after getting the question wrong, read all the answer explanation as many times as you can. Don't miss a word in the explanations of the you world because, I mean, I mean, any word in you world can come in the exam just like the first aid. Step 9. Screw up your diet. After you're done studying, I mean, memorizing the first aid mindlessly, good job. Now it's time to grant yourself with some sugary snacks so you can get a sugar crash and feel like studying is the last thing you want to do. Step 10. Don't exercise. Exercise increases dopamine and serotonin up to three times. It can actually help you focus. Please, don't do that. I want you to keep using the ADHD excuse until you die. Step 11. Go to sleep late. Try to decrease the quality of your sleep as much as you can. Because as you know, the most important step of learning is sleeping. During sleeping is when your brain makes the neural connections and memory consolidation. Without sleeping well, you can't consolidate information in your memory well. You can't learn medicine well, then you can fail the USMLE with a peace of mind.